what's going on guys? If you've been following along, I'm doing a lot of work on the body. Bear with me because I have a little bit of allergies going on right now. So uh, my voice is a little messed up and I have to take a little bit of medicine. But we've been working on the body. We have the sound ender on, we have the under, or, uh, paint on the underside, seam seal on the underside, all that good jazz, and then the bed liner over the top. And I'm very happy with how that came out. So that really means there was one thing to do. Put the body on. I wish we would have got a little bit more video of it going on, but I'll run you through what happened. First things first, we have to get the body out here onto the lift. Just pulled it out with the quad, really wasn't that bad. Not a lot of weight on it. Got it up, got the rotisserie out, we out. We're able to pull down the diesel chassis and plop it under. Uh, the firewall needed a little of a uh, percussive persuasion to fit the turbo. We beat the shit out of it with hammers to make the turbo fit and the downpipe. But we got it fitting. All the part 15 stayed on, did the sandblasting, and I'm in awe, in awe at the size of the lad. Um, I was aiming for like eight inches of lift on this truck. I'm probably six foot in boots, and uh, yeah, I think I ended up with a little bit more than eight inches. Probably like 16 inches, <clears throat> if I'm being honest. Again, this thing is huge and I love it. So, pop the body on, body mounts are going in. Um, really, it's just still bare cab on the inside here. But it went down pretty easily. Need some cleaning on the doors. Just general cleaning all around. It's been getting <clears throat> kind of dirty out here. But we're still closed, guys. This front fender is just loosely laid on. I got like two bolts in it. But I just wanted to see how it looked. And, you know, I'm happy, hoping you guys are looking forward to seeing how it looks too. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.